You know, it's really hard in our business because in many cases, our, our, our business has been commoditized. And when you're in a commodity business, it's, it's really hard uh, to differentiate yourself. But what we try to do is, you know, give our customers the best service at, at the best price. And then I think you'll find that as you, as you visit with our customers and our projects, what they'll tell you is, our folks on our project sites go the extra mile to make sure that their customers are successful. In most cases, um, our customers are the people who take care of the infrastructure for other tenants. And so we, we do that on their behalf. And so it's really important to keep those tenants happy. And that's what our guys go the extra mile to do. I mean, it may be we're taking care of a, of a senator's office or maybe a federal judge's office. You know, these are folks who have a lot of things to worry about. And the last thing they want to be focused on is, do my lights work? You know, we make sure that that stuff just happens for them kind of seamlessly. Uh, what, what it really is, it's about best value, right? It is giving them, they've got some pretty complex uh, infrastructure to take care of. And what they're really looking for is, um, how do I take care of that infrastructure at the lowest price, right? And, and we all, infrastructure, um, is, it's always interesting. You don't care about it till it doesn't work. Right? You just kind of expect the elevator to work when you show up in the morning. You expect the water to run. You expect the lights to be on. And so really what we want for our customers is to make sure that that, that stuff just happens. Right? They don't have to worry about it. It's not something that keeps them awake at night because they know the alley guys will take care of it. So, you know, for us, business development is, is really one of the most important things we do here at the, at the, at the corporate office. Um, all of the business development activities are, are led out of here, and, and Brenda uh, has the lead for those, but it really is a, a, a team sport. Um, you got to have the contracts guys reviewing the RFPs to make sure we understand what we're signing up for. You got to have the programs guys involved to say, yeah, I can do this. You got to have the finance folks engaged to make sure that, you know, we'll actually make money doing the project because our shareholders, they kind of get excited about us making money. Um, you got to have the compliance guys in there making sure that we've, we've checked all the boxes and we're going to do it the right way. So it really involves everyone here at the corporate office. And then my role is to kind of orchestrate that, right? To make sure that, that when we sit in this room and make a bid or no bid decision, that everyone has had a voice, everyone has had an opportunity to participate. We've really thought this through and we've come up with, you know, the best solution for the customer at the best price that's going to generate value for shareholders, that's going to continue to grow the company. Um, the, the challenge that I've been given by my board of directors is to, is to grow the company at about 6% a year. Um, in a shrinking market, that's a challenge, right? The only way we're going to do that is by taking market share away from other people. How do you do that? Find the better price, the better solution, the better answer. That's always the challenge, right? Because to, to continue to win programs, in a commoditized market, you got to keep, there's a lot of price pressure. You got to keep squeezing that price point. Uh, right now, the challenge for us is to grow the volume, right? We need to have a larger base. If I can keep my infrastructure costs low, continue to grow that base, that drives up profitability. And, you know, we're at that tipping point where it doesn't take a lot for us to suddenly have pretty explosive growth. You know, my challenge is to be a 5% a year business. Um, in this market, that's a challenge for us. Uh, but right now we're focused on winning new programs, um, growing the business, growing the volume. We had eight competitive wins last year. We've already added about five new projects this year. So we're, we're continuing to focus on that growth and, and that's where you know everyone's mindset is, is grow, grow, grow. Well, I think you know if you've grown up in, in this business um, like I have, um, worked at a lot of different companies, um, you do become uh, a passion about it because it's the win, right? And we all love a win. And so, you know, every morning I'm looking at the, at the new business opportunities, reviewing what's coming out, getting with Brenda, you know, saying, hey, did you see this one? Have you talked about that one? Um, have we, are we looking at this? Are we gonna team with somebody on that? In fact, I'll, I gotta leave this afternoon to go up to Boulder to meet with the company that we're teaming with on a couple of projects. And so, you know, so I'm involved in it every day. And, and like I said, it's the win. There's nothing better than picking up the phone and calling my boss and saying, hey, we want another one. Um, and being able to tell the team, and, and we have a win party after every win. And, you know, I pay for those out of my own pocket because it's just that important to me. You know, the promise of a multi-portfolio company like the Alley Corporation is that you get your business units to work together, right? 
Um, this has always been on my agenda as something important for the corporation to do is to get all the companies together to talk about what we do and how we can work together. So I'm excited that this is actually happening, that, that my boss has invested the time and money to get to fly everyone in from all over the country to get us all together to talk about how we work together. So, you know, for me, this is the first step in actually growing the corporation and, and finding new sources of revenue. So this is pretty exciting.